All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Shack, the Shack of Day Freedom. And uh, I'm getting ready to get ready for the new three gun series that I've got coming up this summer. We're shooting, like I said, the three majors. Uh, I've got the Tar Heel Challenge coming up in a couple weeks. And a real big shout out to Callaway Ballistics and those guys out there for providing and supporting the channel with ammunition. Couldn't do it without you. The ammo is not cheap these days. So we're going to be concentrating on 77 grain, uh, 124 grain hollow points as well as 115 grain and then we've got some regular 55 grain we'll be doing testing on that this coming week i'm going to go back out to the mifflin county sportsman association that's going to be a blast just to finally get back out there all right so what am i doing now uh i'm taking this benelli m2 okay and i'm kind of toying around with separate several, several different things and one is in this new uh, division it's called carry optics is i can load up I don't know if that's gonna yeah no <laughs> i can load up my shotgun to to the full ex extent uh normally in tac ops uh you can only do eight plus one in the chamber so we can go whatever this thing will hold uh, i think all together it's like 13 12 as well as i can run a dot so i thought man i got one of these guys laying around this is the slx md25 from the guys over there at primary arms this is the, with the acss reticle which is perfect because it has the ring in it which is basically want to go be your spread for your uh your regular bird shot okay uh plus you have the chevron so that i can utilize that for the slug shots which i'm horrible with slug shots and this is the regular dovetail uh, uh rear uh what do you call that thing sight and then a small fiber optic up here and this thing shoots about a a, a foot low 10 inches low at 50 yards which sucks because you know if you're running through the whole deal and you're boom like this okay so long story short i'm going to mount this guy right here this is the uh, like i said the primary arms md25 uh and unfortunately i run this thing right here this is the briley handguard and normally that would sit right here okay well in order to utilize the really cool mount from the guys over there at Meta Creek, and I bought this thing, paid express shipping so to get here so I can have it on the shotgun so I can test it out. I am going to have to cut out two of these little ribs right here. So what I'm going to do now, uh, I've got the Meta Creek uh, rib mount, which this, this thing clamps onto the rib on the upper of the barrel. I'm interested in seeing how well this holds on. It's pretty good. Right now, I currently don't have anything locked tight because I want to see how it fits, and then I'm going to have to tear the whole thing down. I'm going to clean this guy real good. I'm going to remove the, the, dry, the firing pin out of this so I can go ahead and practice reloading uh, quad loads for a while. All right, anyway, long story short, here we go. Uh, I'm going to do this. I got this, and we'll be right back. All right, so what we did was we cut this out with a Dremel. Here's the pieces right here, and then I deburred it. It really doesn't have to be pretty. This is a competition rifle. It's not a showcase piece. I'm really not concerned about it. Looking good, I just wanted to perform correctly. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just hit it up with a uh, little bit of flat black paint, let that set up, and then we will adjust uh, our optic, okay, so that it fits up center line in here. Now, nice thing is it is out on the barrel. It is way out there, so it's gonna incur a lot of vibration. I didn't want to put that optic or have to tap and drill, drill and tap holes in the uh, receiver portion of the, the uh, shotgun. So this seemed to be a ticket. We'll see how it works at the end of the day. How about that? All right, here we go. All right, so here we are, guys. We've got the uh, this whole deal installed. Now, first of all, uh, I went ahead. This this is the Meadow Creek uh, clamp mount that you can put on almost any rail type system. Uh, I, I saw a gentleman who did a video on this thing. Watched it as I was driving up the road. It was really impressive, and that's where I got the idea to do this. I didn't, like I said, I did not want to tap or put holes in this guy. I probably could have, and I would have had to pay somebody else. I don't really feel confident about doing something like that myself. Uh, but anyway, you can see it comes with a pick rail. I uh, went ahead and put this thing on with the low riser with the MD25, and then I cut out this little section right here and over here. I, I painted it. But <laughs> Probably should have let it set up for a little longer, but I'm so impatient. So anyway, uh, perfect height, and it is everything that I need uh, to make this guy part of the new carry optics uh, division. And it really, really, and I'm doing this so you can see it, but I'm going to tell you something, man. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And it really, well, there we go. And it is a perfect height. So let's go ahead, I'll bring it on out here so you can see it with my whole body in it. <laughs> LOL. That's not supposed to be funny. 
Here we go. All right. <laughs> so yeah, man, check this thing out. Um, it's just like that. It's perfect alignment. I like the way it's centered up. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I've always had issues trying to hit the slug targets. You know, taking it to the range, and I found out the thing was hidden for about a foot low, and then I was able to do it. But just guesstimating, you know, all right, there's a foot, boom, and dang, you hit it. We'll take this thing out next week. We're going to be up at the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association. Really looking forward to getting back to the home base, in other words. And then, uh, again, big, guy, big shout out to the guys at Callaway Ballistics. They are providing the ammo for this adventure, and uh, I can't wait for that. We'll be shooting the uh, AA Super Sports through this thing. And I've got a bunch of the Fukia, Fukia uh, slugs. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this is a lot of fun for me. And it gave me the option to put a dot on this thing without having to do a whole lot. If you don't have the Briley handguard, which, by the way, this thing is so cool. And I'm going to be running a little bear, a bear stop on the bottom of this guy. We'll see if somebody says something. Well, who knows? Uh, with that, we always end like this. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so. And we are thinking about you, Matt. So with that being said, in the great infamous words of the real Cobra Burnout, I am out of here. Boom! Oh yeah.